Welcome to a go, where all of your inventory is unimpressive. Today I want to do a show and tell of a Beatles album that I found out in the wild, as they say, and to tell you how much I sold it for on eBay. So let's get into it. About four months ago, I decided to go to the local record store to check out what they had, see if there was any records I'd want to purchase to add to my collection. And I looked around, I couldn't find anything that interests me. Across the street, there's an antique mall. Sometimes I go there to look for inventory for my store to resell or just to look around. This antique mall isn't very large. All it has is two aisles of booths. So I decided I'd head down the first aisle and right away in the first or second booth on the right hand side, there's a box of records sitting on top of a table. It was just a little bitty box, about 20, maybe 30 records in it. It's just ordinary records that you see all over the place and in really poor condition. But I continued to look through the box and right towards the front of the box, I saw this Beatles album. It had a sticky note on the cover that read, sold in as is condition. Then right away, I noticed the corners had been peeled back. I thought that this could be a second state butcher cover. I tried to look underneath the pasted over cover to find Ringo's turtleneck sweater. And sure enough, there it was. I couldn't believe that I found this record yesterday and today by the Beatles, second state butcher cover. And I was so excited to find it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the record and let you know what I sold it for on eBay. Here's the vinyl itself. It's on the rainbow label. It has quite a few scratches on it. On my turntable, it played all the way through without skipping. Like I said, it does have a lot of hairline scratches on it and some more obvious scratches, but I had no problem playing it. It had some popping in it, but no continuous popping. And it really didn't take away from the music. So I knew that this was a strong candidate to sell on eBay. As you can see, they tried to pull back the pasted on cover on all four corners. It was not very good luck. Probably can't pick it up here, but there's the V of the turtleneck. So when I saw that, I was super excited because I knew just what it was. On the back side, someone wrote in pen, the letters MP. The cover is a little dirty and it's worn. There are some seam splits starting, but have not gone all the way through. So how much did I sell this for? I sold it for $430. So that's pretty good profit for what I paid. It's the only record I've ever found that was worth so much. Well, that's proof right there that you never know what you're gonna find when you look through bins. They may all look trashed and they may not all look like the typical $1 records, but you never know when something good's gonna show up. So I hope this video gets you guys a little excited to go hunt for those special records, because they're out there. As a bonus, I wanna show you another record that I picked up. I went to a state sale for some furniture and they also had some records on the first floor. Everyone was going through the records. There's only a small box, but it looks like there was some good title in there and people were snatching them up. So I thought, well, I guess I won't be picking up any records because everyone grabbed them all. And this house was a packed house. They also had a basement. So I went down in the basement and was looking around, picked some books and some other things. And right there sitting on a table with a couple other records was this 21 Pilots record. There's three albums. It's a live album. And it's all on picture discs. When I picked up this 21 Pilot album, I didn't know what it was worth, but for the price they're asking, I knew it would be worth more than that. It's hard to open this up to show all of it. So I listed this album and I listed the Beatles and I sold this one for $98. The only time I ever put things up on eBay, if I know that they'll sell at a very good price. I don't do a lot of eBay, but when I find an item that I know I can turn around and make quick money on, and make good money, I'll post it up on eBay. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you next time.